Yay! Finally, we have refinanced our 17-unit building and pulled out all our investment that we put into this building. So, in this video, I'm going to share about the project details and, you know, the things that we have done to get the money out and the lessons we learned because, you know, there were so many challenges, especially when refinancing and trying to get the money out. So in this video, we'll be sharing all those challenges and the solutions we found. So stay tuned. Namaskar. Welcome back to my channel. This is Aditya Soma. So if you are new to this channel, I'm a real estate investor and real estate agent located here in Windsor, Ontario, Canada. So again, you know, we help investors buy, sell and invest in here in Ontario. And I have a team and awesome agents, assistants helping, you know, a lot of clients all over coming from Canada. So that being said, Again, if you haven't seen any videos about this 17 unit building that I have made in the past, so make sure to check out. I have made a couple of videos, you know, giving a, a building tour, showing how it was when I bought it. And also I have another video sharing, you know, after renovations video tour. So make sure to check out those videos. In this video, I'll specifically talk about the challenges when it comes to finances. And I'll talk about, you know, just overview what are the things you need to be aware, especially if you're looking to do Burr strategy on a multifamily building. So to start with, first of all, this is a 17 unit uh, residential building. So all residential units, 12 of them are one bedroom units and five of them are bachelor units. And this building is located in Windsor, Ontario, Canada. And me and my partner, Arman, we have purchased this property in December 2020. So it's been a little over a year we have purchased and we purchased it on MLS. Yes, that's right, on the market. Again, you know, building had so many challenges when we bought it. The income was super, super low. Actually, at the price we bought it at that time for 1.3 million. And at that time, it was minus $2,000. So there is no cap rate, it's zero actually, it's minus because there were few units that were in a very rough shape. So again, if you haven't checked out the tour, make sure to check out, you'll see how rough they were. And you know, the building was not maintained well and the owner was paying for the hydro, gas and water and all the building has been heated with electrical heat if you don't know what does electrical heats check out the video it's a, like a you know baseboards under the drywall you will see so there is no gas heating so those electrical bills will be are very high so that's why like the income was very very low and the expenses are very high so that's why even on the market when we bought it it was listed for 1.7 and we got it for 1.3 so because of that you know challenges and we took it over it was very challenging to get the financing at that time because you know the income was low but because my partner and me have a you know solid uh, active income through our real estate sales so you know cabc bank uh, was the one you know thank you Pritish for helping us so from CABC he helped us to get the financing done so again CABC helped us to buy the building and now after we purchased it what we have been done in this last one year first we tackled the six units that were like completely out of shape we have completely renovated like everything brand new kitchen brand new washroom new flooring painting light fixtures all the units like now they are beautiful and rented for market rents and on top of it because you know in the multifamily the biggest key to successfully burr it successfully to pull your investment out you got to make sure increase the income of the property try to reduce the expenses so the biggest challenge with this property is electrical heat so what we have done first thing there were no separate meters so we have got installed all separate meters and of course you know with the existing tenants you cannot implement directly plus utilities we have to law do a lot of negotiation so instead of going through that route we said the six units that we have completely renovated so now we rented out with like you know a cap on the hydro because now we have those hydrometers installed so our expenses went down and also we have installed heat pumps those are like economical heating system it's electrical heating but they're almost they reduce the bills by 70 percent so now we can charge rent more so the rents for a one bedroom we are getting around 1290 dollars 
and for bachelors we are getting a thousand ninety dollars because we have made them beautiful and they're like gorgeous and also the bills are super low for the tenant so again that's pretty much what we have done to the project now you know we have almost invested two hundred and sixty thousand all together for the six units plus separate meters and we also installed cameras around the building because one of the problem that tenants are having hey you know my car got uh, um, robbed or whatever they're feeling unsecured so we said you know what we're gonna spend like ten thousand something and we installed nice industrial cameras with a you know cloud storage and all those things so now the building is secure so the tenants for the new tenants that's a selling feature because you know they can now be have a peace of mind to rent the place so that's how we were able to rent the place very quickly and as soon as we are done with the renting as soon as we have those six new leases and the current rents for other 11 units are super low even then still with this income we went to the bank especially we because we got the financing from cabc we went back to cabc said hey we just uh, got the you know six units have updated completely we have reduced our expenses we have increased our income can you please refinance this building so that we can get uh, some of our equity out and guess what cabc they could not loan us for any property over a million dollars because you know they have some stupid laws stupid um, you know terms and conditions where if it's under million dollar mortgage they can do it if it's over a million dollars under three million or something they have another like you know commercial lending side and they were like super slow like literally refinancing itself took us like four to five months so first of all we didn't go through CIBC because we, we tried to reach out to this commercial lender because the first lender whom we had who helped us buying it was um, have a capacity only up to million dollar mortgage. So the person who's supposed to loan us over a million, uh, which, you know, were hard to find. And even the people whom we found, they were not able to get us the loan again for so many reasons and now we started to look around talking to different people after talking to like so many investors i found this awesome 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 lender which is a um, libro credit union it's a local credit union again i felt they're the best one especially if you're looking to get multiple properties just based off of the income from the property so most of the lenders they have some certain limit for x amount of properties that you can own so this lender is fantastic they look at the income of the property they qualify the property based on the income and if your in if property qualifies based on the income they will lend you as many properties as possible even the student rental even new construction so they have so many flexible uh, opportunities so i really love them and again along the process i have a very good solid mortgage agent who works for libro again if you're looking for some help in windsor with the mortgages of course dm me I'll give you that contact but again this person for the last two months she was able to get it done again the biggest thing even her when she was going through the process underwriter came back rejecting after we got the appraisal value because we got the appraisal value for 2.5 million and they said how come the property increased its value by 1.2 million in less than like one and a half year they were like they couldn't digest that information because appraiser did not put in all the upgrades we have done and guess what i have done i literally wrote an email with all the pictures so that's one lesson i learned like you know it's have a proper documentation especially have a clear explanation how much expenses so i literally had to put my excel sheet with all the expenses i spent with you know exact figures and with the pictures how was the unit before how was the unit after i took professional pictures so i had a pictures before and i have you know professional pictures after so i sent all those each unit and i sent the updated rents and i have sent the invoice for that electrical separation i told them you know here is how much electrical bill was so literally we have spent 260 grand and this is why like the appraisal came in high and then there is nothing on the market that are selling over six cap rate everything is under five cap or four so i wrote in detailed explanation for the underwriter and the mortgage lender went in and gave that detailed explanation to the underwriter and then finally they approved it so that's how so the property like i mentioned appraised for 2.5 but based on the income and expenses they were able to loan us on 2.3 million 
70% loan to value. So if you calculate it, it's 1.6 million is the new mortgage we got. So 1.6 million is the money that we got as a new mortgage from which we paid our old mortgage and all the expenses we spent. So if you remember the price I said, we bought it for 1.3 and we spent another 260,000. So we are almost 1.57 into the deal and we got 1.6. So we got extra 30,000 to you know now own this property. So technically right now we don't own the property. I mean, we own the property, but we don't have any investment into the deal unless if we want to do more renovations along the way. But now we are planning because we will keep instead of keeping uh, 30,000 into the deal, we kept 100,000. We took 1.3. So pretty much me and my partner, each of us left 35,000 each. So we have 100,000 there to play around. Maybe, you know, when a couple more unit tenants move out, we renovate them, we increase our cash flow more. So even with the new mortgage, now we are making like positive $2,000-ish cash flow. So again, that's our story with the refinancing, burning a project, getting our money out. And of course, you know, the if you are not sure about what's burr, I'll just give a quick explanation here. But again, you can check out the other videos where I made detailed explanation on what's burr. So in simple terms, in a layman terms, burr means like you buy a property, do some renovations, rent it out for the market rents and refinance to take your money that you invested into this property as a down payment and plus the renovations that you spent so the money you spent for renovations the down payment the closing all those things if you can pull take that money out through refinancing of course you're increasing your mortgage even more but if your income from the property the new income can you know pay all this mortgage and the taxes for the new mortgage, then you're fine, right? So that's exactly what Burr is. And the last R is repeat. So repeat the process. And guess what? I already bought closing tomorrow. Literally the refinancing happened yesterday and we, I'm closing tomorrow another six unit building. Again, a Burr strategy. So of course, I'll make more videos on that project later on. It's gonna be my office hack. Yes, if you haven't heard, if you heard about Office Hack, let me know in the comments. If you haven't heard, let me know what you think Office Hack means. And I'll definitely share in the later on videos. Until then, see you later. Hope you enjoyed this video. Hope it gave you so much information. And make sure to hit that thumbs up button, like button, and also, you know, comment below if you have any questions. Please don't forget to hit subscribe button because that's the only way you know, a motivation for me to make more videos informative like this to help you achieve financial freedom, you know, the way I achieved. So with that, have a wonderful day, guys. Take care.